All right, so just a quick intro into GIMP. We want to open a file. So find where your IL2 skins are. And find the model you want to work with. And grab the void file. All right, once you have your void file, the two things you have to do every time is hit image mode RGB and then layers transparency color to alpha you should get this checker box screen just hit OK and we're just about ready right here is the new layer button I'm gonna click that and generally if you're adding new layers colors you'll choose transparency but in this case so we can see what we're doing we're gonna select white and then right here we can control what level they're at, which what's what's on top. And we're gonna move the white one down so we can actually see the layout. Alright, so when you want to start working, you have three different selection boxes. You have your square, circle, and free freehand. For freehand, just start clicking around where you want to uh, select. Now if you want to add to that, wherever you want to go, just hold on the shift key and click once. Then you can let go of the shift key and just continue to make your selection. Once it's combined, you'll notice you actually have two here. So when you go to paint, pick your color. It actually paints them both. Now, also, you can get creative. Let's uh, let's hit Control Z to get rid of what we just did. And this time, we're going to work for real. So we're going to create a new layer, transparency. It is selected. So our selection box here will actually affect that layer. Now. By holding shift, you can add new selections, but if you hold control, you can actually subtract. So if we want to do some fancy lines, I'll hold down control, and I have my circle tool, and I'll just cut into it here, and I'll cut from the other way. And what this does, if you notice, it actually subtracts from your other selection. In fact, you can get some pretty cool designs going once you get comfortable with it. I'm not actually trying for anything specific here. I just want to show you what you can do. So with the new layer selected, just click to paint, and you can see now the kind of designs you could you could do with that. Uh, so once again, when you're on a selection, any of the selection tools, holding out control will actually cut out a selection. Notice the selection bar now goes around it. And then holding shift will add to the selection. So you see there we have whatever. Now the very last step you have to do when you're working with the skins is always right click over here and choose uh, flatten image. If you have transparency on the screen and you want transparent to stay, you'll choose merge visible layers. But uh, flatten image should give you uh, really keep the high quality uh, colors that you have there. And then we're going to go to image again. We're going to change it back to indexed. And make sure it's at 256. Usually it's at 255 and you'll have to go back up by one. Uh, hit convert. And then when you're saving your progress, you want to save it with the different layers. So when you go to work on it in different uh, steps, you want it to be separate here. What I do is I just hit Control Z to undo until I see all my layers separate. And then you can hit Save As and save it where you want. That's going to save it in a GIMP format. Uh, but when you're ready to use it, you're going to flatten the image. You've done your uh, back to RGB. And then we're going to export as. And we're going to put it wherever you want, probably right back in the same folder you have. Just name it. Make sure it's a BMP file. And the last step is right here compatibility options you have to make sure that's checked and then hit 
uh, export and it will now be in your IL2 okay and we will go over uh, better tips Later on, it's just a basic one right now, just to give you an idea of what you can do. So there we go. There is my little practice plan, my little mess around there. Now, I actually keep it here, and I just alt-tab between it, make my corrections, and then uh, come back here. All you really have to do is flip it up and flip back down, and you can see you know, the changes you made almost instantly, really. So that covers the basics. You can, uh, with a little bit of playing around and time, you can really come up with some pretty cool skins. Alright, till next time.